looking at the human towers of Catalonia here on live interactive English. I'm Mike. I'm Rainbow. I found some pictures of the human towers. You guys probably have some of these in your magazines. We're seeing them for the first time. That's so cool. Now, after yesterday's article, I was like, "This sport is bananas. This is crazy. Who would do this?" Now, looking at the pictures, I've totally changed my mind. This sport isn't crazy. It's insane. It looks so fun. It shouldn't even be legal. Where are the Spanish police? I think it looks so cool. I think it looks great. It looks, it looks so supportive. It looks cool, but lots of dangerous, crazy things look cool. It doesn't mean you'd want to do. Would you do this? I would. You I would, would want to do it. I really? want to train and do it.、Uh, It's great in team building. I'm surprised because when I picture a human tower, I didn't、mm. know there would be so many people outside of it holding it up. Like、mm. I'm thinking like cheerleading, where you just have you know. Your little base of people, and then the top. But then this human tower, there's extensions like tree roots, like、mm -hmm. so many people involved. That's true. But remember,、yes. cheerleaders just go maybe two or three levels. This is one, two, three. This is like seven or eight people high. <coughs> so that could be you know more than ten up to. Fifteen, twenty meters.、It's, Maybe I want to be one of those people on、really, the bottom. Oh yeah, being one of the people at the bottom would be good, unless someone falls off. Because now they're going to fall on top of you and other people. As and well. other people. That's true. But it would be interesting to know how many people end up going to the hospital after some of these events. I don't know, but I bet it would be more than just a few. Anyways, let's find out more about the human towers of Catalonia. And today we're going to find out a fact that's going to be even more shocking and make you say, "Wow, this is even more dangerous than I thought." Building one of these human towers takes great skill, balance, and preparation. When the day of the performance comes, the castle building team carries out several well-rehearsed steps. First, those who form the tower's wide base move into place. The people there must be strong and stable enough to hold the weight of the whole tower. When the base is ready, those who form the upper levels climb up over their teammates and quickly form the tronc. The tall structure in the tower center. All right, so it's a very famous tradition in northeastern Spain, the area we know as Catalonia. That's right, the human towers of Catalonia go back over two hundred years. For two hundred years, crazy people in Spain have been doing this. Since the nineteen eighties, crazy women in Spain can join them. To make the towers even taller, but you know it's fine to say, "Oh, we're going to make a human tower." But you had a different idea of that. I wouldn't know even how to start doing that. So let's find out exactly what it takes to make a human tower. It says building one of these human towers takes great skill, balance. And preparation.、Mm, good, yeah.、Hmm. And also notice、imagine. they didn't say great strengths. Interesting.、So、you don't have to be big muscular be people to do it. It's more about skill, balance, and preparation. Yep, skill, yep. knowing what you're doing. Yep. Balance, being able to kind of stay upright even when you're high up in the sky. And preparation, it is a team event. Yes. I don't know if we would call it a team sport, but definitely a team activity. So if everyone prepares, gets ready, trains together. They will, of course, do a better job. When the day of the performance comes, the castle building team carries out several well-rehearsed steps.、So、All about practice. I feel a bit better knowing that these people、they、probably get together on the weekends, just in their free time. They practice probably in different groups. The people on the bottom practice. Yeah, the people、yeah. on the top will do their、together. different things to get ready to prepare, so that they do it as well as they can, and also, of course, as safely as they can. But yes, if you're high up in the air and someone is holding you by the feet, for example, you would definitely need to have balance, like、yes. someone who performs in a circus, for example. So balance is, yeah, you're standing on something left and right. You're gonna stand in the middle. You don't want to be falling.、Mm -hmm. Balance is what you need when you're walking something like a tightrope. You want to make sure you don't fall down. Riding on your bicycle. <laughs> your left side and right side of your body. There's a lot of different places in your life where balance is important. Of course, we talk about physical balance, such as being on a bicycle. 
and we also have the balance between your body and your mind so if you're doing some work that you love but you're way too tired every single day it's not a good balance because then your body is going to crash and if you're doing something that's way too hard on your mind you're gonna feel like you're having a headache you can't really think so we're gonna have to balance it out by not stressing each side of our body or our mind too much doing just the right amount that's also a part of balance besides a strong upper body you need good balance to surf that's right because surfing is another sport where you don't want to fall off so left side and right side have to have like equal strength and you've got to be careful about which one to use when so in this tower too balance is very important first those who form the tower's wide base, so the bottom, move into place. The people there must be strong and stable enough to hold the weight of the whole tower. So I'm getting you do really have to be quite strong because the weight of the whole tower, that's a lot of people there. Absolutely, but they'll also have a lot of people to make up the base. Yes. So the power of all those yes. people even if they're not all big muscle men, but the power of all those people should hopefully keep the base, the bottom stable. of the tower stable. And when something is stable, well, it's kind of not having a problem with balance. When we have balance, if you're standing on one foot, it's easy to fall over, right? Someone could give you a little push and you would fall over quite easily. But if you're standing on two feet, or if you're sitting on a chair with four legs, well then you're much more stable. It would be hard for me to push you over if you're standing on two feet and you're ready or if you're sitting down on a chair. Strong. Something stable doesn't tip, doesn't fall very easily. If you put your glass just on the edge of the table, no, don't leave it there. It's not very stable. It could tip and fall onto the floor very easily. But if you put it right in the middle of the table or something like that, it's very, very firm. It's very fixed. It's very stable. For example, this chair is not very stable, so I'll sit somewhere else. Maybe the chair has four legs, but one of them is kind of loose and it feels like it could just fall or collapse. That's not a stable thing to sit on. The next sentence of the article says, when the base is ready, those who form the upper levels climb up over their teammates and quickly form the trunk, the tall structure in the tower center. So that's what you make it up. Oh, I see. So what looks like the tower, mm -hmm. that's the part that comes later. Yeah, and it's interesting. I guess that's the Spanish spelling of this word trunk, which would be sort of the main body like but it's tree. also similar to T-R-U-N-K, which, yes, is what we call that middle, the, the middle thin, tall, wooden part of the tree. The strong part. That's the tree trunk. Up here are the leaves. Down here is the roots, the base, and that middle part is the trunk in English with a U-N-K. In Spanish, they're O-N-K. Same idea. And this is the main part of the structure. What is a structure? A structure is basically anything you build. It could be something really big, like a skyscraper or a bridge or something like that. It could be something small, like a little wooden hut made of just old wood in the middle of the forest. It could be a house, it could be a department store, a hospital, a school. Even a tent you could call a simple structure that you sleep in for one night or something like that. But basically it's a building of some kind. For example, the work of art is a wooden structure that looks like a giant hand. Cool. I guess That's you can see the fingers and the palm and everything. I have no idea what that would look like, but it sounds fascinating. Let's take a break and we'll be back with more about very tall towers made of people in Spain. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天要继续介绍加泰隆尼亚的叠人塔。要叠一座这样的人塔，需要高超的技巧、平衡和准备。那么 balance 这个字当名词就可以表达平衡能力或者是均衡的意思。我们可以去想象你在人塔的上层的那些人啊，他们不需要很强壮，而是要能维持平衡、保持直立是比较重要的。Mike 老师用到 muscular， 它是拼作 m u s c u l a r，muscular 它表示肌肉发达的、强壮的，还有用到 upright。
U P R I G H T 这个字当形容词可以形容是直立的、挺直的。好，那接着我们就来看看这个叠人塔它叠的步骤吧。首先呢，形成人塔基底的那些人他们会就位，那么底层的人他们必须够强壮、够稳定，可以承受整座人塔的重量。当基底准备就绪呢，那些组成上层的人就会爬上他们队友，迅速组成这个塔的躯干，也就是这个人塔中心的这个高大的结构。好，单字 stable， 它是形容稳定的、稳固的。Mike 老师用到 fixed，f i x e d，fixed 是形容固定的、不动的。那么 structure， 它可以表达构造啊、结构或是结构体。这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 those who 加上动词，是表达什么什么的人，凡是怎么样的人，那些怎么样的人。这个先行词 those 是做代名词用，指那些人。那你会想说是哪些人呢？所以这时候就用 who 引导的形容词子句来修饰 those， 限定范围说明是那些怎么样怎么样的人。这时候形容词子句里面的动词要用复数型哦。例如 they have an alternative menu。For those who don't eat meat, 他们有一份替代菜单是给不吃肉的人看的。那么第二个重点是用形容词或副词接 enough， 再接 to 加原形动词，表示够怎么样，足以怎么样。Enough 在这边是副词，它是摆在形容词或副词的后方来做修饰哦。那补充一下，如果 enough 用来修饰名词的话，则是摆在名词的前面，所以就是 enough 名词再接不定词 to v 就可以表达够多的什么，足以怎么样怎么样。像是 He didn't have enough time to eat breakfast this morning。他今天早上没有足够的时间吃早餐。好，那接下来就要考考大家喽。我们来看。一个例句是 ：The child is 空格空格 to reach the doorknob。那个孩子已经够高，能碰到门把了。我们现在表达够高，你要用 enough tall 才是 tall enough 呢？想想看喽。好，那么答案就是 tall enough 去表达说够高。注意 enough 是摆在形容词后面了。好，接下来课文中。Finally, a child climbs to the very top, raises one hand, and sticks out four fingers, which stand for the four bars of the Catalan flag. This completes the tower. Then, group by group, they climb down until everyone is safe on the ground. It's all over in less than five minutes. Tourists might view the building of the towers as simply impressive acrobatic acts, but for Catalonians, the towers represent something very important. To them, these human towers are a way to show their strength as a community and their pride in Catalonia's culture, identity, and independent spirit. All right, we get to the really exciting part of the、mm -hmm. tower now, and also this is probably the scariest part. Yes, that's true. If you thought the towers were kind of dangerous before, <laughs> or cool, <laughs> just wait until you figure out、uh, what goes on top. Finally, a child climbs to the very top, raises one hand, and sticks out four fingers, which stand for the four bars of the Catalan flag. This completes the tower. I'm wondering how old that child is. Not big, not very, very little. And whose child are we talking about? Someone who has extra children. Yes. I don't know. The guy、extra、in town with to nine、lose. children、yep. or something like yep, that. Yep, yep. That's right. Most people might think, "Hey, nice tower. What will you put at the top? A flag, maybe? Yeah, flag sounds like a nice thing." Here, let's put a child at the top, and they can kind of pretend to be、to、the be flag, flag, the four bars. I think the Catalan flag is like yellow with three、uh, or four red bars across it. So that's what the kid does. And there's no flag in the kid's hand. The kid is the flag, <laughs> standing up there on top of this very, very tall tower. Then it says, group by group, 
and I would probably add very slowly, very they slowly. climb down until everyone is safe on the ground. It's all over in less than five minutes. Think about that training that goes into this five-minute performance. That's where it shows that the training really pays off. They yeah. can do all of this safely, amazing, in five minutes. And remember, for a few seconds at least, there's a very small child standing up at the top there. It says tourists might view the building of the towers. As simply impressive acrobatic acts, I kind of mentioned this sounds like the gymnastics a circus or something. trick or circus something、training. like that, right? Acrobats are the people who you know spin through the air and swing from things in the、uh, in the circus. So yeah, it is kind of like that, and that's what it might look like for us as tourists who are going just for one year. We see this, how cool! Put your pictures on Instagram. It's a cool thing to watch. For us, but for Catalonians, for the people who actually do it, the towers represent something very important.、Mm. So you know, like a lot of things, these are cultural things. They're very interesting and entertaining. But for the people who do them, for the place that it comes from, these things have a much bigger idea, a much bigger message. They represent something very important. Exactly, and when we use this word "represent," we mean mean or stand for. The meaning or what it stands for isn't just a plain tower. Maybe it, it represents. It means something deep about their culture and their history. It stands for something, or it's a signal of something. These are different words that represent. Could also mean on this map, stars represent state capitals. So the stars stand for the different capitals. So like the American flag, we have fifty different states, fifty different fifty-one states actually. Fifty states. Fifty fifty states and fifty、mm -hmm. different stars on the the flag. That's right. So what do these towers represent to Catalonians apart from a way of? Putting their children in danger. It says to them, these human towers are a way to show their strength as a community and their pride in Catalonia's culture, identity, and independent spirit. This is a really good point. Spain, of course, we think of as this country in Europe, but Catalonians don't think of themselves as Spanish. They think of themselves as kind of a different country, and in fact, many of them would like to separate and become a new country and. Break away from Spain, so they have a lot of special cultural pride. They have their own language, they have their own tradition and history, and so these towers represent their strength—not just the strength of their muscles、strength、and the strength mind, of their、heart. children's courage to get up at the top. But here we're also talking about an emotional strength, a passion that they might have. So strength can be in your muscles. You can have strength in your mind if you don't give up and you you know keep working hard, or you can have strength. In your feeling and your passions, your emotions for other people or other things. It's、so、just talking about strength and power. You know, being strong in some way. I know you have the strength to get through this difficult time. Again, we're not talking about the strength you get from lifting weights. There, we're talking about emotional strength. To get through a hard time in your life, and we all need that. And that's the end of the article. But、oh. I do have a "What do you think?" question for you. Yes. Have you ever taken part in an activity that required good teamwork?、Mm. If you haven't, can you describe one? So,、oh. have you? You probably have taken. Part in some team building activity. Well, not not really. I mean, I play music in a music group,、That's、and that teamwork. requires teamwork, right? We all have to practice together. You know, listen to each other, play together, make sure the song sounds good. Another time, I did that white water rafting. Oh, where you go down、oh, a crazy cool, river, cool. and that was interesting because that was teamwork. We needed to have teamwork, but with a bunch of people I didn't know. Oh, oh, that's a bit tricky, so isn't it? So it was interesting, but I think we did really well, and very few people fell out of our boat. That sounds fun.、So、I, I want to do that. That was good teamwork. I don't know. All right, guys, that's all the time we have. If you get a chance to visit Catalonia, do maybe see a human tower or check out all the other wonderful culture in that amazing part of Spain. We'll see you back here for more great. Articles. Until then, Buenos Aires. <laughs>
人塔的基底还有上层都完成之后，最后会有一名孩子爬到最上面，然后举起一只手，并伸出四根手指，代表着加泰隆尼亚旗帜的四条条纹。那么这样那个人塔就完成啦。接着他们就会一组一组的往下爬。游客们呢，也许会认为这个叠人塔只是令人印象深刻的特技表演而已，但是对于加泰隆尼亚人来说，叠人塔。展现了他们作为一个群体的力量。这边就补充一下，加泰隆尼亚有自己的语言、文字还有风俗习惯，因此加泰隆尼亚人多半认为自己不是西班牙人。并且呢，他们是以自己独特文化为荣，而叠人塔这项传统呢，就是他们对自己的文化、啊、身份认同还有独立精神引以为豪的一种方式。我们最后来看单字 represent， 它是动词，表示代表、象征。那么 strength， 它除了指力气，也可以指向是团体组织的力量。还有文中用到 acrobatic。它是形容特技的。那么 Rainbow 老师有提到 gymnastics, G Y M N A S T I C S, gymnastics 可以表达体操的意思。那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看重点 ，view 受词 as 加上名词或形容词，可以表达将什么视为什么。view 在这边就表示认为或是把什么看作。那你除了用动词 view， 还可以用 see, regard, look upon。Think of 等等去表达相同意思。举例来说 ，He viewed the job as a springboard. 他把那份工作视为跳板。Springboard 就是跳板喽。好，那么以上见讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Building one of these human towers takes great skill, balance, and preparation. When the day of the performance comes, the castle building team carries out several well-rehearsed steps. First, those who form the tower's wide base move into place. The people there must be strong and stable enough to hold the weight of the whole tower. When the base is ready, those who form the upper levels climb up over their teammates and quickly form the tronc, the tall structure in the tower's center. Finally, a child climbs to the very top. Raises one hand and sticks out four fingers, which stand for the four bars of the Catalan flag. This completes the tower. Then, group by group, they climb down until everyone is safe on the ground. It's all over in less than five minutes. Tourists might view the building of the towers as simply impressive acrobatic acts, but for Catalonians, the towers represent something very important. To them. These human towers are a way to show their strength as a community and their pride in Catalonia's culture, identity, and independent spirit. Hi, everyone. I'm Stephen. I'm Josh. We're gonna play a game called Guess the Bear, where each of us has three words or phrases on these cards. There are two sentence examples for each, but we're gonna read them instead of saying the actual word. We're gonna replace it with the word bear. You have one minute to guess all three words. Can you do it? I reckon I can. All right. Let's start the timer. You guess first. Okay. This is a noun. One word. Number one. He was riding a skateboard and lost his bear. Number two. You must find a bear between work and home. Balance. There you go. All right. This is an adjective. One word. Number one. Don't stand there. The ground isn't bare. Number two. The doctors told us his condition was bare. Uh, bad. Un unhealthy. Don't stand there. The ground isn't bare. S stable. Stable. There stable. you go. There you go. Okay. This is a noun. One word. Number one. The building's bare was damaged in the earthquake. Number two. Skyscrapers are amazing bears. This, can you please say it again?、Mm -hmm. The building's、tricky. bear was damaged in the earthquake. Number two, skyscrapers are amazing bears. Foundation,、uh, structures. There you go. Oh, you、yeah. got it. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. About you had that? like five seconds left on the clock. That was like really nerve wracking. Yeah. Yeah.、It. I know it was. I, I had to think about it a little bit, but、yeah. I think I got there. All right. Are you ready the for this? Structure. I thought structure. That was hard. Yeah. I, it was.、Okay. You ready for yours? I'm ready for mine. Let's hope they're going to be a bit tricky. All right. All right. We have got. This is a verb, and it's one word. Okay. In many cultures, a dove bears peace. On this map, the triangles bear monuments. Reason, uh, symbolize. 
No. Uh, again, sorry. All right. In many cultures, a dove bears peace. On this map... Represent. Try... Yep. Okay. Okay. And now we've got noun, one word. Mm. She used all her bear to finish the marathon. Okay. I want to get into weightlifting, but I don't have the bear. Strength. Yep. Okay. Okay. Last one. We got a phrase, two words. Okay. Bear, bear, vacation. They say it's a beautiful place. Bear, bear, live in the area, know the best restaurants. What? Again? I'm sorry. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. You can get this. All right, okay. let's do it again. Okay. Okay. Bear, bear, vacation. There, say it's a beautiful place. Bear, bear, live in the area, know the best restaurants. Okay, I didn't know that one. What was it? It was those who. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you read the two sentences for me? Yeah, certainly can. So, bear, bear, vacation, or those who vacation there say it's a beautiful place. Okay. Those who live in the area know the best restaurants. Okay, I don't think I was going to get that one. Yeah, it is a little bit tricky, little isn't tricky. it? See you next time.